We smoked a pork butt and now today we're gonna to try and make some burritos out of that pork butt with some homemade flour tortillas. We were kindly sent this book by Dana. It's called Texas Eats and it's all about the different influences of food in Texas. So it's been really interesting just to learn stuff. But today I'm gonna to be using it for this flour tortilla recipe to try and make this burrito. In this bowl I've got flour, salt and baking powder. So I'm just giving that a good old mix to make sure it's all combined. And then I've also got some butter and lard that it's been left out to warm up to room temperature apparently I've got to put that in there we go and then mix it in until it becomes incorporated before adding some water so let's give that a go I know nothing about making flour tortillas but I'm guessing that's incorporated now so I'm going to slowly add in the water That dough is all incorporated and ready, just got to knead it out on a floured surface. I am using a bit of parchment paper just to make my job a little bit easier. Don't want to go too heavy with the flour. And let's knead. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever made your own flour tortillas. Let me know how they went as well. I have seen a lot of differences between corn tortillas and flour tortillas, but to be honest, I've gone for the flour tortilla today because I think that's more synonymous with a burrito. Again, let me know if I'm right or wrong, but I hope that a burrito is flour tortilla, not corn, and I've completely cocked this one up already. Right, I don't know how long I need to knead for. I am really enjoying our discovery on American food, especially because it's taken me on a little culinary journey myself, not just for the taste of the food, but also I'm learning new skills and techniques that I'd never have done before, and cooking styles that I've never done before. So it is great fun for me and Mr. H, especially when it comes to the eating part. Right, that is now kneaded. I am gonna just pop it back in this bowl, cover it with plastic wrap, and pop it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to an hour before I roll them and start making those flour tortillas. So join us later. I'm joined back by baby H, who is currently having her dinner. Uh, yes, you've got a mixture of vegetables and rice and a little sauce, haven't you, with a bit of pulled pork. So we're having this as a burrito, but you're having it now, aren't you? And you did have some corn, but most of that's gone or on the floor. So you just carry on eating while mummy makes mummy and daddy's dinner, yeah? What do you think of that? Is that nice? Daddy. Daddy. Where's daddy? Yeah. He's there, is he? Okay. Daddy's not there. That's the microwave, but you know. This has been in for almost an hour in the fridge. So I need to take it out and on a floured surface, Divide the dough into 18 equal portions. So that's for the full recipe. We're probably only gonna get about four out of this, I believe. Oh, that's a funny noise. Right, okay, so roll them out to about six to eight inches round. Okay, I'm gonna go with these very odd shaped tortillas just because it's getting later and I'm not having an all-nighter like we did with the pulled pork. So I'm going to get the skillet heated up and then I'm going to add these and cook them and then I'm going to make the pulled pork with some rotel in it. I've done some, I was going to say, my take on some refried beans and then we'll put it all together and see what Mr H thinks. It says to cook these on a high heat but that seems quite high to me. It says over high heat, turning once for about one minute on each side until puffy and freckled with brown spots on both sides. Okay, I'm gonna flip that. Wow. Okay, I know the shape isn't there for a tortilla, but it looks quite good if you ask me. Got my warm towel here as well that I've got to wrap these in to keep warm. Here we have some of the leftover pulled pork that we made on the smoker. So we smoked this bad boy up until 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> 
It was a labour of love. We've been tucking into it and tucking into it, but it's not going down, and that's why we decided to make the burritos today. So I'm going to attempt to pull some of this pork because we left it whole because we were told to pull it as we go, as it keeps the moisture in the pulled pork. We were also kindly sent these from Katrina, so I thought we'd maybe have a go at these today. I'm not quite sure how you do it. I'm just going to go with it and see if I can shred. I'm guessing it would be easier to do when it hot. Yeah, I think because this has been in the fridge, it is going to be hard to pull with these. We're going to be eating pork for days on end. So just heated a little bit of butter in my skillet. I'm going to add in the pulled pork that we've just pulled as well. I actually pulled a lot more than I intended to pull, so I hope Mr H is hungry. We also used our fat separator to take out some of the natural juices from the pork and we've got some here so I'm going to add that back in so that we can taste some of that lovely flavour. I don't really want to add too much else into this pork because I still want us to be able to take the smoked flavour. We have got some Rotel. And I think this is going to go quite nicely, so I'm just going to go for it and chuck this in. Now I know a lot of you people will say you shouldn't put tomatoes in a skillet, but it's too late, I've done it. We have cooked tomato-based food in this skillet before and it's still living and it's alive, so I don't see that this is going to be doing it any harm. Earlier on I did a take on refried beans. Now when I say take is because there's some kidney beans in here as well as pinto beans so it is a bit different from normal refried beans but I thought why not let's just give it a go and have this alongside our burrito. So I'm just going to warm these up I'm not sure if that's what you do with refried beans. Taste test time! Well we've got to make this burrito. Right. Right. Uh, oh wow! So I'm, I'm Is that homemade? Homemade darling. Everyone that give Mrs H some love in the comments below. I'm, you never cease to amaze me, genuinely. I love you. No, no, no. Yeah, oh, that's brilliant. You've got to try it first. Might... I'd be happy just for this, this looks great. Yeah, but I don't know how it's going to smell. So this is the pulled smell? pork. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's shot away, yeah, aren't I? We're still recovering we from are. the... We uh... are. Put some sweet corn in it. Now this is in a tub because Alana likes sweet corn, so I just save a bit for her. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not sure if you're going to like this either because I've made some refried beans. Okay. So we'll pop them on top. Beautiful. I don't even know if this is the correct way to make a burrito in terms of the layering, but I think we just go with it. For just this go one. with it. Yeah. Now I've got to try and roll it. I'm sure you've already told everyone, but we are not professional chefs. We just love. America food and we're just trying our hand at as many dishes as we can. Just love it. Okay. I think this is all going to fall apart at the minute I let go because I'm no professional burrito roller. <laughs> so if you don't mind, I'm just going to feed you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting go of this because it's going to, yeah, it's going to fall apart. So I hope it's not too hot, mm -hmm. but have a go. Ah, that's my thumb. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. The smoke hits me straight away. <clears throat> oh, it hit the back of your throat, you start coughing. Mm. Not dry at all. Mm. The burrito is lovely. That is like superb. That's good, isn't it? Mm. And the bean, what was the bean thing you put in? Refried beans. Yep. Mm. I'll have another bit. Oh, mmm. I'm actually really happy with that. Have you done it again? I did. I did. No, I did. No. Well, I pat myself on the back. You're right, I think the tortilla recipe is actually really good and they've come out really nice. The refried beans work well. I mean, the pulled pork's still lovely. There's Rotel in here as well, so chilli and the tomato from, you buy the little can, Ruth sent it to us from Texas. Wow. So I chucked that in there as well and I think that all works really nicely. If I was Thanks being so. hypercritical, I'd probably add a little bit of onion. That is really good. It's not dry at all. I'll tell you what I would add, and it's not something I usually say. 
Oh, sugar. I went and bought cheese and I forgot to add the cheese. Oh no, tastes great anyway. I forgot to add the cheese. Don't. I was going to say I'd add a little bit of sugar. I don't think it needs it. But I forgot the cheese. I don't think, yeah, I mean, cheese would complement it even more, but I like that. For me, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. I'm going to second the 8 out of 10. Do you want to try some? Give some food? <laughs> she didn't want to miss out, did you? Mm -hmm. Just a reminder, we're going to Texas very, very soon in October, beginning of October. We're going to be doing lots of barbecue in State Fair. It's going to be amazing. If you want to see more behind the scenes and support the channel, we do have a Patreon. Check out the link in the pinned comments because we will be doing Zooms and almost day-to-day -day posts leading up to and during our Texas vacation. If this has left you hungry for more, make sure you like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see you in the next video. She did it before you. <laughs> <laughs>